everybody. Welcome back to the Beer's Gone Bad. Where the beer flows like wine, guys. We are your hosts, Scott Van Vook. And I'm Patrick Tugin. Welcome, guys. Tonight we are doing a, another San Diego beer. Um, I think we've done Green Flash Brewing Company once before. Once. Once before. With the Imperial IPA. And we're back again. And we're back again, but tonight we're doing the triple, or trippel, or trippa, however you prefer to say it. <laughs> Uh, this beer, um, found locally all across San Diego, is going to put you back around 8 bucks actually, for this 22. This is no joke. Yeah, it's not a cheap drink, so, uh, if, if you're not willing to throw down some ducats, you're not going to, you're not going to be tasting this bad boy. 100%, dude. Scott actually picked this one up because he's heard through the grapevine, this is, this is in many people's top number one. I've heard from, like, three different serious beer drinkers that this is the best beer they've ever had. Ever. That's a bold statement. That's extremely bold statement. It's like saying it's the best sandwich you've ever had. Like, well, that's the best sandwich I've ever had. There's a lot of good sandwiches out there, and there's a lot of good beers out there. And it's just hard for me to see that this is going to be the best beer that someone's ever had. But... Show them that label. What do they got here? We're going to check it out. What we learned, basically triple, for anyone not in the know... Or triple. Trip hell or trip up. Uh, trip up. Uh. Um, what that's what that basically means. It it comes back from an old uh, Trappist brewery kind of reference that's saying that any any beer in the triple basically category is in the higher alcohol content. So these are strong beers. So buyer beware. Caviar emptor. What was the word? Caviar emptor. Or however you want. If there's a Latin major out there who can correct me, I can spell it, but I don't know. I think it's caveat emptor. That sounds about right. Buyer beware. Either way, it's it's basically, it's a high alcohol beer. So if you guys, you Just know, to give you the heads up, you guys... What's this, our alcohol content? We're looking at 9.7%. Seriously? 9.7%. Nice. This 122 is going to put you over legal limit. So no drinking and driving with this one, guys. That's two regular beers in one right there. Yeah, dude. I mean, this is a no joke. And it's a 22. Um, How do you feel about that label? It's relaxing. I, to to me, honest, I feel like they like, could have done more. It looks kind of paradise to me, but I don't feel like I want to have that, though. That's what's relaxing about it. Also, uh, the beers... Oh, man, it smells good, though. They're talking about them going from light to dark, to dark to light, to light to dark. Um, this one, one definitely. being Bud Light, ten being Rasputin. This guy is a solid three and a half for me. I was even going to give it the half. I think I'm just going to go with a straight three. It's 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 very light in color, but it's actually very cloudy. If you, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it's got a lot of yeast in there. Yeah, yours, yours might be a little cloudier than mine. Mine's a whole ton more cloudier. What the hell did you get? Oh, you know why? Because you poured mine last. Ah, uh, you got the sediment. You gave me so the that's juice. why I pat's at three and a half, and I'm at three percent. I don't have to drink any of the the, the green Either stuff. Way. Cheers, man. Yeah, so. smells good though. You know what it smells like? It smells like pirat. It does. What a great beer though. Which we will never show you because my flip phone actually <laughs> died and ate the video. Oh well. That was a fifteen dollar twenty two as well. That was a that was a big night. You know what's funny about this? It tastes like pirat. It's very fruity to me. It has really fruity. It's... Sorry, pick my nose. What it says to me, it's a fruity IPA, is what I'm getting out of this. It's got an IPA kind of aftertaste. To me, this is what I'm saying, just to me though. Okay. An IPA aftertaste, but it's got a very fruity flavor to it. It's like if you took a pyramid apricot ale and added a bunch of hops to it. Yes, 100%. At first, I was like, again, going back to my whole Dude, life. right here, modern all... All malt, tripled, hop, dry hop, and bottled fermented. Pat pretty much nailed it. Wow, that was you try, <laughs> they thought, actually. If you try <laughs> F-bomb, that might be the I'm, first F-bomb. The beer's gone bad. I'm sorry, excuse me. The Retract language that has gone bad, ladies and gentlemen. It's, sorry. A, it's that good of a beer. Don't be sorry. It's okay. Own it. I'm a little sorry. I don't want to cuss in this. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, at first, it, it, that, that pyramid half wasn't. Yeah, okay. pyramid. It's like I don't even. Like apricot it's, ale. It's a pyramid yeah, apricot, apricot ale. ale with a little bit of hops. That's what this beer tastes like, and it does taste a lot like the pyramid. And it is a yeastier beer, but it does have a little bit of hint on hops to it. Um, that bitter taste. You get a little bit of bitterness afterwards. I'm actually proud. My palate has just evolved tonight. I, I would have never said that if having not done 31 of these before. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that's a uh, you nailed it. 
Wow. Hey, hey, to you, man. Thank you. Damn, yeah, maybe it's because you gave me the really yeasty cup. I don't know. Well, but, that, but I mean, we're still throwing the jargon out there. Yeasty, malty. I don't know. I'm just throwing words out. I nailed it, though. Yeah. Nailed it. nailed it. God, your phone is blowing up right now. I'm trying to keep track of time, but it's just apparently not happening. <laughs> Text massages left and right. Okay. With this beer, one being horrible, ten being awesome, I'm going to put this one, I'm a little weird in this one, because I don't think I normally would order this. If, it, if I was in a bar, I don't think I would order this, because generally in a bar, I'd want to party and hang out. If, if and only if, I was at a bar that I feel that I could sit down and enjoy it, like a glass of nice red wine, I would order this. 100%. This is the type of beer that you would drink if you were wearing an Ascot. <laughs> right? <laughs> totally. This is the Ascot beer. This is not, this is not like, hey, we're going to go over and rally, we're going out tonight. This is not like a, oh, we're going to have hot chicken wings and drink beer, or like, oh, cool, hoppy, hoppy beer. This is, no, I'm sophisticated. I, it really is, though. You know, if I, read, it, literally, I read Kafka. Yes, this has 9%, but you guys would be throwing your money away if you thought you were going to buy this and get, you know, have a freaking party out of it. It's not that beer. It's not that kind of beer. No, this is... If you're a pretentious person... Maybe grab a cheese plate oh, with this. Good. Oh, 100%. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, they just love this thing in San Francisco. <laughs> it's so true, though, because like, there's so many other beers. Go grab a Sculpt and go grab a Green Flash freaking Imperial IPA and get the same content and go get rowdy with it. Take this one and sit down with it and enjoy it. This is yeah. not the rowdy beer. This is your. This is good, but it's not rowdy. I just finished Philosophy 101, and I want to kind of regurgitate everything I've read in class. I want to go to maybe friends. like 201 next. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. 101A, 101B. On that pure aspect, I'm going to give this one a 7. Because, you know, it's. I actually enjoy the taste, and if I put myself in the right mindset of understanding that I need to be in a very, maybe quiet, mahogany studded room with nice leather chairs, I would enjoy this beer fully. Tons of leather. If I was in a college bar and some guy handed this to me while he's drinking a Bud Light out of a pitcher, I'd probably slap him and be like, what the hell is this? Yeah, this is the kind of beer that you drink when you have like moose heads on the wall. Dude, in the right yeah, setting, this beer, is, this beer is amazing. Yeah, I'm going to go I'm gonna go ahead and slightly agree with Pat. Um, again, I like to picture myself wearing an ascot in like a silk robe. You should have worn one tonight. Oh, I, had I known what this beer tastes like, yeah. If we were to re-review this beer, I might be wearing an ascot in the silk robe. But I'm going to give it a six because it doesn't really fall within like my favorite beers. And again, I'm not saying it is a six on the definitive scale of awesomeness. It just that's where that's I'm why going. we're here. It's yeah. you know I want I want your palate to tell Scott's palate them what your palate feels like. I give it a six. I like the hoppier beers. I like the lighter beers. I like the beers that you can drink that taste like like Budweiser, and oh, I like the me. Stone IPAs. Um, no worries, man. I'm just not ready, maybe intellectually, um, for a beer like this. And fair enough. And you know what? You tell us what you think. You guys can log on to the beers gone bad dot wordpress dot com. It's got to be a good beer though. For a six, like it's a good beer. It is a good beer. YouTube or Facebook. Let us know if you guys have tried this and you think differently. Let us know. We're we're always here to learn. So anything you say, tweet we're it. down. That was the tweet sign. The beers gone bad, guys. Beer flows like wine. Thanks for checking in. We will see you next time. Peace.